If you ever wondered what's GPT-3, how can it be useful to you or your company, what can it really do, how can you get access to it, or just why are you on a waitlist, then this is the video you were looking for. This is What's AI, and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. GPT-3 is a new text generating program from OpenAI. This model is pre-trained, but it is never touched again. Specifically, they train GPT-3 on a dataset of half a trillion words for 175 billion parameters which is 10 times more than any previous non-sparse language model. Then, there is no more fine-tuning to do with this model, only few shot demonstrations specified purely via text interaction with the model. For example, an English sentence and its French translation. The few shot works by giving a certain amount of examples of context and completion. And then, one final example of context with the model expected to provide the completion without changing the model's parameters. The model even reaches competitiveness with prior state-of-the-art approaches that are directly fine-tuned on a specific task. In short, it works great because its memory pretty much contains all text ever published by humans on the internet. I will stop my review of the paper at this point, but you should definitely give a look at their paper and my previous video explanation for a better understanding of this new GPT-3 model. Both are linked in the description box below. Now that we know more about what's this GPT-3 model, you may think, that's cool. But how can it help me and how can I use it? Well, it can help you in many ways. It all depends on what you need it to do but it is a super versatile deep learning model which can be applied to many applications. I will show some of people's current applications and how you can use it. But in short, GPT-3 has been trained on pretty much all of the internet, so it can do a lot of different things. It goes from programming for you, doing natural language processing tasks, such as summarize text or even do the opposite, generating text from summaries, and much more. You can already see that it covers a lot of potential applications and there is still a lot more to be discovered. This is exactly what OpenAI is looking for by giving access to their API. Which is what I will be talking about after seeing some of these awesome examples. There are many examples of GPT-3's applications even though it has only been released earlier this summer. As I said, it covers a large field of applications. Saman Ugarg used GPT-3 to build a mobile and web Gmail add-on that expands given brief descriptions into formatted and grammatically correct professional emails. Shiv Kant was able to generate faces using a specific description, such as Generate a front-facing young black adult female with brown eyes and long hair. Matt Schumer made a deep learning model generator based on a description. Ask GPT-3 to build a model to classify images into 5 groups. The dataset has 25,000 images with an input shape of 500 by 500. And it produces valid Keras code with the correct input and output shapes. If you are too busy to read every single email you receive, Magic Email are able to summarize them for you using GPT-3. Levels.io even made a business ID generator using GPT-3. The idea behind this website is to give you inspiration to create something, if you lack of inspiration right now. You can check it by yourself, the link is in the description. And there are many more to come. You may be the author of the next unique GPT-3's application. Now, the only questions left are, how can it help you specifically, and how can you use it? Well. The answer to the first question is simple. 
it can help you by achieving a specific task you wanted to achieve, which contains the usage of words, since it is mainly a natural language processing model. As we just saw, it can do many, many things related to words, and its limits seem to only be your imagination. If you think of a feature that might be automatized or improved in your own application or website, then you should definitely give it a try. The answer to the second question, how can you use it, is a bit more complex. The simple answer is to do like everyone else and fill up the form to get access. The form is linked in the description as well if you are interested in using GPT-3's API. Unfortunately, as you may be aware, the hype behind GPT-3 makes it quite hard to get accepted since there are many people wanting to try it for themselves. Well, there may be an alternative to that, or at least a way to get accepted faster. For that, we first need to understand why OpenAI made an API and what they are looking for with this API release. In fact, the reasons are quite simple. The API is actually in beta, so the access is limited to some people, like most applications in their beta phase. This is why there is a waitlist. Now, the only questions left to answer is, I filled the form months ago and I am still not accepted yet. Why is that so? This question is linked to what OpenAI is looking for by releasing GPT-3 into an API. OpenAI's goal is to discover serious commercial applications for GPT-3 API. In short, they want to discover new ways that other people are able to make money through their API. It could either be by using their API directly to make money or just by using it to affect an industry or a product and make it more profitable. So here are my suggestions to help you get into this API. First, you need to fill out the form without lying. Then, you talk about you, your company, and how GPT-3 could be used specifically to you. This is the most important part. This application of GPT-3 needs to be unique. It needs to be something new and something that can also help them by being impressive and showing a new way to use GPT-3 to make more money. Plus, you need to show that you understand how GPT-3 works and the potential benefits and risks from your use case so that OpenAI's team know they can have trust in your judgment to have their name associated with you. Finally, I will also suggest you try and contact them personally. After some research, here's what I found on Twitter. I then contacted them directly, telling what I would like to do with it, as well as some details on my company and here's the answer I got. While it may not be what you really wanted to hear, it is still better than waiting and doing nothing. I hope that this video helped you understand their thought behind their decisions with GPT-3. Good luck in your process and I hope that you will get access to this API and use it successfully. Please let me know what you would like to do with GPT-3 in the comments and feel free to share any other tips. I would love to read them. You can request access for the API right now, it is the first link in the description box below. This is leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there are over 90% of you guys watching that are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news clearly explained. If you would like to start or improve with machine learning, I've linked all the best online courses in a repertory in the description. Thank you for watching.